Barb Oakley here. I'm going to do a quick walkthrough for you so you can see how to handle all the videos and everything you're going to be accessing on our website. So when you first land, you'll probably find something like this on the homepage, this Welcome to Learning How to Learn. Now, if you look at the left navigational bar, you'll see video lectures, readings, and so forth. So first thing you might want to do is just go to the video lectures. That's a key part of the course. Now, I have special power, so I get to access everything right from the very beginning. So you're seeing, actually right here, you're seeing most of the lectures for week one, week two, week three, week four, and so forth. So now one thing you can do is you can, once you've completed a week, see how you can press this arrow and press it back so you can diminish the size of any particular week if you want to. And then one thing I want you to do is I want you to look over the right and you'll see these wonderful little images which relate to, for example, PowerPoints. This is a PowerPoint for the first video. This image right here takes you to the discussion forums. So you can see when you click on it, you just go right to the discussion forum. Here are the captions for the videos right here. And then you can download the videos by clicking right here. And, uh, and then it just shows up as, as it's busy downloading. So you can, week by week, the videos will come available and you'll be able to see them. And so there you're kind of getting a little preview here. And then what you can do is you can go over to the reading section and you can see that we've got lots of uh, good stuff for you. Here's a little bit of background about A Mind for Numbers, the book for the course. And of course you don't have to buy the book, but it's nice to have in, in case you want to look into or sort of ingrain some of the ideas more deeply. Here's one of the key aspects of the book and also of the course, which are some guidelines about how to study and how not to study because you can fool yourself. And then for each week, we also have a note for readings that might be worthwhile for you. All of these readings are optional, and but they, they just give you some nice insights either into more popular articles or heavy-duty articles if you want to take a look and see what what you might have an interest in. Now the quizzes, as you go over here, you'll see the quizzes. Here's the quiz for week one is right up there and you can just attempt quiz one whenever you think you're ready. And week by week, each quiz will come available. And then of course, at the end of the last week, you'll, you'll have access to the final. Now here are the peer or the MOOC mate assessments. So if you go and just take a look, there's, remember there's two assessments. One is assessment one, and the second is assessment two. And you can see all the details about these two assessments and down at the bottom of the page are the actual assignments themselves that you can go off to. So then there's a little bit here in the about section, uh, basics about the course. So here's a little bit of an introduction again and it pretty much repeats what's on the introductory page and then a little bit more about assessments and certificates and of course the verified certificate is a very nice way to go if you want to really be show people that you've actually learned the material in the course here's a nice listing of the actual course objectives and some frequently asked questions that relate to the course and here's a little bit of information about us there's Dr. Sinowski right here, and then me, and then we've got a number of learning experts that we've interviewed for the course, so you'll see them as bonus material interviews. Here's our wonderful teaching assistants, and you can see we've got a great number of them. And then a little bit about the Temporal Dynamics Learning Center, and finally our development team who have worked very hard to help make this course come to reality. And there's a little bit here about you. Right now, I'm when I'm making this video, there's it's before the class has actually started, so pretty soon this is going to be populated with a lot of different folks from all around the world. 
And then within a week or so, we'll be giving you a survey and then we'll let you know what the results of that survey are and they'll show up here. Now, an important part of the, the course is the discussion forums. So the discussion forums, they're right here. Don't be shy. And you can see, as I showed you earlier, each of the video lectures actually has a connection over to here. So you can go directly here from the video lectures, or you can come independently. And then also you can go from the quizzes, study groups and hanging out together. There's all sorts of different aspects that you can meet people, talk to them and get some insights from them. Here's a little bit on talk about and talk about you'll you'll go on to the website and then you'll see that we actually have uh, some sessions for you to sign up for week by week and you can talk about the different aspects of the course that you find most interesting and you'll see specifics on what to talk about uh, when you arrive at the sessions finally there are some worthwhile pages for you to go explore if you want to learn a little further. Just people I've found interesting and worthwhile and different websites and so forth. So I think you'll find this possibly of interest. And that is almost all. There's a little bit about meetups here. You can go in and learn about meetups and form a meetup. And that's pretty much it for the course. So that's your pocket walkthrough of our course.